Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is all about this makeup look right here. I think it's perfect for summer. Hope you guys enjoy it and let's begin. Alright guys, so my brows are already filled in. I have a video down below all about my brows, just on my brows, so go check that out. So first thing is I'm going to prime my eyes. I'm using this NYX eyeshadow base from the drugstore if you're wondering. This is just going to help to help your eyeshadow to stay on longer throughout the day and also help your shadows to appear pigmented. It's like a great base for your eyes. You know how like sometimes you prime your face? Well, you're going to prime your eyes also. Then I'm going to use this eyeshadow or this powder that is from Maybelline. I'm using it as eyeshadow on my eyes. I'm going to use this to set my eyelids. It really helps to give you a smooth surface to work with when you're applying your eyeshadows. So I'm going to apply this onto my eyes. By the brow bone too, and of course on the eyes. Then the eyeshadow palette we're using today is from Black Radiance. Now the reason why I chose out this eyeshadow palette because it's a two-in-one product, and I love these shadows because they're very neutral shadows. We're gonna use all three of these shadows today, and we're gonna slay this eye look. Okay. So the first shadow we're going to use is Sculpt. We're gonna put this right in the crease of our eye. And to apply this shadow in the crease, I'm using a Morphe 505 brush. I'm a little bit under the weather, like I'm a little nasally. If you guys didn't know, I was sick the past week, so I'm a little bit under the weather. So just have some decency for your girl. <laughs> so we're going to pop this in the crease of the eyes. And this is going to really add some contrast. Now these colors are super pigmented, so a little goes a long way, I will say that. Especially when we're going to dip into that dark brown. And we're just popping this in the crease and we're just using the brush to blend it out. And we're going to apply it in the other crease also. Now using that same brush, I'm going to go into the darker brown, which is this shadow right here. Now this is a contour color and we're going to pop this again in the crease area, but mostly focusing in on that outer corner crease. I can't talk today. It's so hard for some reason, you guys. I don't know why. So right at that outer corner. And then you can focus it a little bit in that crease by using circular motion to bring it into that crease. And when I was at the outer crease, I'm using a lot of circular motions. And then when I get into that inner crease area, I'm using back and forth motions. Then I'm going to go in with this highlight shadow right here. We're going to pop this on the lids and it's going to do exactly what it says. It's going to really highlight that lid area and make it pop. It's a beautiful like gold bronze. Oh, stunning. Yeah. <laughs> then I'm going to go back in with my same Morphe 505 brush but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use nothing on the brush and just blend out the outer parts or a right on top of that lid shadow so it really blends into the look really easily and if you see how I'm holding my brush I'm holding it upwards and then turned down Next is I'm going to go back in with a little bit more of that dark brown, just to deepen out this look. Then I'm going to do a... <laughs> there's hair on it. <laughs> then I'm going to do a simple wing liner. Now this is a Maybelline Eye Studio. There's still hair on it. Hello. Okay. Well. Cool. This is a Maybelline Jill Eye Studio or Eye Studio Liner. I'm going to show you guys a cool little trick that I learned from Dress Your Face with using liner. So I'm going to show you guys right now. Now, now that I have my eyeliner on, if you guys want a full video, like in depth, I have actually have a wing liner routine. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my hand and then kind of like sharpen or kind of like extend that line. So it looks like it's like going on forever, but it's really not casually gonna throw it out there all right guys so now that we have a wing on next is I'm gonna move on to my lashes so for my lashes today I'm using the AEL 46 absolutely New York fad lashes now these are double lashes we're going really extra today every time I think double lashes I think Patrick Star because he's like the queen of like double lashes oh so gorgeous all the time then we're just gonna place it on the eye like that I'm also today going to use a new foundation. Now, this is a new one that I picked up because this one actually came in more deeper colors. It's from Neutrogena. And if you guys know me, I've never used Neutrogena on my channel before, ever. I mean, not even like, I don't even know if they have eyeshadows or 
what else but I've never used their foundation ever on my channel so I don't think I've ever used any of their products maybe just skincare products but nothing like makeup -y products so I'm excited to use this now this is a Neutrogena nourishing long wearing makeup now this is a tone correcting product so yes correcting if you guys guys if you guys haven't seen my color correcting video, I'll link it down below. Go check it out. I'm just going to shake it up a little bit. Now, this doesn't have a pump. You have to, like, put it on your hand or the back of your hand. I'm so happy Neutrogena finally came out with, like, darker colors. Because, like, I was wondering, like, they did have Gabrielle Union as their model or their spokesperson. And y'all didn't have darker colors. So I was like, okay. So obviously, maybe you weren't using Neutrogena makeup. I don't know. I'm not saying they weren't. I just don't know. Just something I was inquiring about. <laughs> I know Jackie Anaya really likes it. Finally got her last name very right. I know sometimes I will say like or pronunciate things and some people will be like, girl, that's not how you say it. I'm like, real life, it's just pronunciation. I try my best. It's not like I'm doing it intentionally to say things a certain way. Then for my concealer today, I'm going to use my Jordana Complete Coverage Maximum 2-in-1 Concealer Plus Foundation. And the color I'm in that I'm going to use today under my eyes is Golden Caramel, if you're wondering. It's 9 Golden Caramel. So we're just going to apply this under the eyes. And I have to have a mirror like a little bit closer to me than usual, guys. Sorry about that if it's in the camera view. Now to blend out my concealer, I've been using, if you guys see, I've been using tons of different things. So I'm going to be using my It Cosmetics um, Heavenly Luxe Complexion Perfection Brush. And then moving on to my face powder. So I'm going to set my under eye with my Black Opal Deluxe Finishing Powder. And my color is in neutral light 06 if you're wondering sometimes i also do use uh medium i think and it's in 03 i don't understand the spectrum of those colors because it's like 06 to 03 shouldn't it be 03 to 06 you know what i mean i'm just gonna bake with this powder so i'm gonna apply a bit of it under my eyes you're gonna apply some of it on my chin area then right by my forehead area now while i'm baking i'm going to go back in cannot tell Okay, <laughs> so I'm going to go back in with this Black Radiant True Complexion Contour Palette, and this is in medium to dark, you know, the same thing that we use on our eyes, same palette, baby. So we're going to use a contour shade right here, and we're going to use this to help bronze up the skin. I feel like we also, like, have this, like, I guess, stigma that women of color can't bronze, like, and add color to their skin, which is crazy. I think I crush that stigma so much, and I'm just loving it. <laughs> I like that it's a little bit warmer. It's like a warm contour shade. So I'll add some color to the skin also. Then I'm going to go back in with that same palette. This is like the game changer of today's video because it works so well with a lot of different areas on the skin. But I'm going to use it under the eyes now or in the crease area or the inner corner of the eyes. We're going to use that same highlight color which is this color right here that we use on the lids of her eyes. We're going to pop this in the inner corner. Then to really open up the eyes and make it pop, instead of using a white liner, I'm going to use a gold liner, and this is going to make that lower lash line really pop, and we're going to apply it under, on top of that lower lash line. Okay, so next is, I'm going to move on to mascara, so I'm using this Falsies, the Falsies Push Up Drama from Maybelline. Then one of the last steps we're going to do to the face before we move on to the lips is we're going to highlight and I'm also going to only highlight my nose area because I kind of have a little breakout right here and don't want to highlight it and make it pop even more so nope we're not going to do that and I can't just highlight one cheek that's not going to work so we're just going to highlight the nose area I'm using again the highlight color which is like amazing okay so we're going to pop this on the nose of our face and then also I'm going to pop it right by the cupid's bow add and also right by the chin area so I was just gonna only highlight the nose area but we want to go even more now lastly finally moving on to the lips so I'm going to be using this BU soft liner for lips now this is like kind of like a nude mauve color it's like it will go really great with this lipstick and I'm going to use some color pop now this lip color is called stingray I think I finally got it to work on me because I'm liking it right now as I'm applying it because the last couple of times I've tried it it wasn't for me but I think with this gold look and this is from It's My Ray Ray, if you guys don't know. This is her ColourPop lip color. But you know, of course, I had to support her. And she's super sweet, so yes. I am so in love with this lip color from Miss Ray Ray. Ooh, 
it's beautiful okay so i hope you guys enjoy this look this golden glam really awesome for beginners also so thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video today if you guys liked it you know the deal give it a thumbs up it really helps me to see what you guys like to see so make sure you give it a thumbs up if you like these type of videos, talk throughs, makeup tutorials, let me know. Well, I love doing makeup tutorials, so I probably will do them anyway. <laughs> also, subscribe down below if you're not subscribed yet. Thank you guys again for watching. Don't boo. Oh, la, la. Thank you guys again for watching. Hope you're having an awesome day. I love you so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.